Be honest, do some of the meetings you schedule in your business feel like a waste of time? Does your team dread your daily stand-ups? Do you struggle to know what to discuss? Do you end your calls unsure of next steps? In this video, I want to show you how to run productive meetings with the help of Notion and Notion Calendar. I have a Notion template that you can duplicate into your workspace right now for free and the link is down below in the description. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Sam. I'm a certified Notion consultant and process expert and I help agency owners run their business out of Notion. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the four different levels of running productive meetings using Notion and Notion Calendar and I'll throw in some tips along the way. So let's dive right in. Level one, database templates. So over on Notion, we have a fully fledged um, meeting notes template where your agency can use this to capture and record uh, meetings that happen in your business. And in level one of this video, we're gonna be walking through Notion database templates and how they can supercharge your meetings. So if I come down to our first section here, we have the meetings database. And if I come up to the right hand side of this blue button, I can access our meeting uh, template. So I'm just gonna hit these three dots here and hit edit, and that's gonna open up the new meeting template. Now here are some things that we use in this particular template to help us with the uh, meeting uh, writing and capturing process. So first of all, at the top, we have some properties here. So we have the meeting date, which by default has been set to today. And then we have a spot for attendees, so we can capture those. We can assign things to a project or a type, and then also we have the AI summaries, um, which we'll walk you through in the next section of this video. Mainly, I wanna uh, draw your attention to the different sections we have in this page. So we have a spot for meeting agenda, and what the idea of this is, is that you could prep for a meeting beforehand in Notion, come in and add all of the agenda items, and then everyone can know what the meeting's going to be about and be ready for the meeting. Then we have meeting notes, and so this can be actually live on the call. You and your team can be capturing notes. Some of my clients like to work asynchronously, and so they actually pull up their meetings uh, on Notion and share their screen and take meeting notes that way. Or if it's a client meeting, you can use the agenda and the meeting notes as a bit of a script to help you along as you're talking to the client. And then the final thing is action items. So you can see we've got these simple uh, to-do format um, where you can capture action items together as the call is going on. And then also what we have is this toggle to our tasks database. And so essentially once we've captured these different uh, to-dos, we can drag and drop these into the task database. And not only are they captured for this meeting, but then this task database can be shared anywhere else. So if you have a central task manager, it can be shown there. If you have personal dashboards, the tasks that are assigned to people can find their way there. And so we're actually creating, creating these sort of global tasks that are universal throughout our workspace. Just to show you the power of this, let's make a um, pretend meeting together. So let's say we have a team meeting that we want to capture before ahead of the meeting. We'll capture that here. And again, it's set by default to the meeting date of today. But let's say this is actually for tomorrow. Um, and then I can say who the attendees are. Let's say it's myself and John. Um, and then also if it was assigned to any particular project that we're working on, let's say that we have, I don't know, some sort of financial project. We can create that here and now that's been added to that particular project. And so once we open up this meeting, I might come in here and say, these are the different agenda items, point one, point two, point three. And then we can open this up, as I said, share our screen, and then we might actually capture the meeting notes um, on the right hand side. So point one, point two, point three. And then finally, we can capture those action items. So let's say we have task one, task two, and task three. And then, as I said, what's cool about this is we can just drag and drop these by dragging and dragging over here, finding that blue line and drop them into here. We don't need the sorting. And now we've put these into our task manager. And then from here, we can give them due dates. We can assign them off to people. We can assign them to particular projects. So our financial project, for example. And now this is being shared globally throughout our workspace. Level two, automations. So what about those meetings that we have again and again? In level two, we're going to be using the power of automation to streamline the process of uh, meetings that are created uh, on a recurring basis. And we have two types of automations to explore here. Automations native to Notion and then automations with third, third party tools like Make. 
So for example, earlier we captured that team meeting and we did that manually. But let's say that we know we're gonna have our team meeting um, every Friday at the end of the week. What we can actually do is create a recurring template for that to be produced for us every Friday automatically. So to do that, I'm gonna come to these three dots here. I'm gonna hit duplicate and that's gonna bring in over that same template with all of the lovely sections and action items. And then I can rename this to team meeting and I can also add the attendees that are always gonna be there. So let's say it is me and John, and then I could add even a project if it was appropriate, or I might add a type. So this is a, a type tag property um, that basically tells us that this is the team meeting. Uh, uh, meeting. Other types of meetings might be one-to-ones, daily stand-ups, that kind of thing. And so we can fill all this information in so it is produced for us automatically. And also the other thing we might add is meeting agendas. So let's say at the team meeting, there's a couple of things that we like to cover every single meeting. That might be starting with any issues, then moving on to any opportunities, and then also fin finally finishing with any wins from the team. So this is, for example, a meeting agenda that you can create ahead of time, and so you can always hold the same meeting, essentially. Once we've completed this, we can come back out of it, and then we can come to the team meeting, and what we're gonna do is come to this repeat function. We're gonna set this to weekly, and then we're just gonna make it every Friday, every one weeks, and save that. And now what that's done is, first of all, you can see we've got blue icon here. So that's telling us that's the recurring template. And then essentially what's gonna happen is every Friday, a team meeting meeting is going to be created in Notion um, at 12 a.m., so when everyone's sleeping, and then it's gonna be sitting there waiting for everyone uh, to use. And so what you can have is everyone can come in and uh, the agenda has already been set out for them, but if they wanna add any more preparation for the meeting ahead of time, they can come in and the meeting notes there for them. And then everyone can open it up and it's there for them been created. Another example of this is let's say that you have um, a discovery call booking that you have for your clients. And so every time you have a new client, they will use the booking uh, like Calendly um, form and they'll send you a, a Calendly booking and then you have your discovery meeting. But what we can do is actually use a third party automation like Make to grab that information and create a Notion meeting notes page. So for over here, for example, this is an actual discovery call. Um, and so this was created from Make and as well as creating the actual meeting note itself, it captured some of the questionnaire questions. So I can take a look at all of this information here. It created a contact for this person. It created a project for the person. So now I have a new project in my client projects page. Um, and so all of this was done using an automation. And so over on Make, this is what this looks like. So we have Calendly um, a scenario. And so essentially it's watching for a particular Calendly event. And then once it's done that, it's gonna move over to this iterator, which is essentially going to find the questions and answers and split them up so we can then use them throughout the uh, automation. And so the first thing it's doing is it's creating a company in my company database. Then it's creating a contact in my contact database. Then it's creating a project in my project database. And then finally, once it's created all that information, it's creating a meeting note in my meeting database and it will be connecting a lot of the information that I created in the previous parts of the scenario and putting them into the meeting. So it's connecting the meeting to the project and to the contacts and to the company. And so I don't have to do anything. This is schedule uh, on and it's immediately as the data arrives. And so essentially as soon as a client books a discovery call with me, all of the information is set up for me ahead of time. And then all I have to do is get on the call, bring up my Notion page, and I have those questionnaire uh, questions ready to go. I have my discovery script uh, ready to go, and I can just hold the discovery call. Level three, AI summaries. We can also use another type of robots in the form of AI summaries to capture the meeting notes and as well record the meetings that we're on. Gone are the days that we need a dedicated person to do the meeting minutes or meeting notes for a meeting, and we can use AI summaries to really do that for us. And I'm gonna pull from the archive here and let Sam from the past explain a potential automation that you can set up with a AI summaries to bring it into Notion. At the very bottom here of the template, we have the AI summaries um, section here. So this is what we're gonna be using to link uh, AI summaries to our meetings. AI I've decided to use is uh, fireflies.ai. You can come to Zapier and use a completely free account 
uh, you can create a new zap and I'll just walk you through what's inside this app. So I'm inside Zapier here uh, and I've just gone here and hit create. And the first trigger is from Fireflies. Uh, so I've chosen the app Fireflies and I've logged in, authenticated it. The event we're looking for is a new meeting. Uh, and then I've signed into the account that I'm using. And then the action that we're creating, which will be the next part it asks you to look into, um, is of course uh, Notion. So you go into Notion, the event we're looking for is to create a database item. And then again, we're linking it to our Notion workspace, wherever this template is. Um, and then this are the steps that we're asking for. And you can add all these in, and then you can test the action. It will test it with a test uh, meeting notes that you've already created. Um, and then if it's all good, you're, you can, you're ready to uh, hit publish here and then it'll be turned on. And so on the Notion side of things, um, this uh, AI summaries section here is uh, essentially built to um, link those uh, fireflies to the correct meeting. And I'll show you what this does. So for example, let's just say we've just had a website review uh, meeting. And in this example, we've uh, not come into Notion and created a meeting beforehand. We've just had the meeting on Google Notes. What's great about this is when we come into here, we'll see that website review. We can see the transcript and we can click into that URL and it will take us to the Fireflies if we want to look at all the summary and things like that and remind us what the meeting was about. Um, but most importantly, we can relate it to the actual meeting itself. We can see the duration of the meeting. We've got that transcript there ready for us. Um, and we can also see uh, a, put a roll in of the summary of what was said um, within that meeting. Level four, Notion Calendar. So finally, let's use the power of Notion Calendar to encourage our team to actually start making use of Notion for capturing meeting notes. Now, unfortunately, in this, at this moment in time, um, there is a drawback when it comes to Notion Calendar, and I'm gonna show you that now. Um, but I've got a bit of a workaround that is gonna hopefully yeah, encourage the workflow um, uh, for our team. So yeah, over on Notion Calendar, you can see we've got a couple things. Um, first of all, I've already got a Notion database that's been connected. This is my task database. And so uh, what Notion Calendar is great for in terms of its integration between Notion databases and bringing them into your calendar is time blocking. So I have my tasks here and let's say, for example, I've got my prep for strategy call task um, up here and I can just bring this down onto the Notion calendar. I can drag how long I think this task is gonna take me and now I've done essentially a bit of time blocking, which is absolutely amazing and if you're not already using this feature, I definitely encourage you to use it. But unfortunately, um, you also see I've got some other um, Notion calendar events or I should say calendar events and these are just a range of client bookings. And uh, these are just uh, Google Calendar events that are on my Notion Calendar. And so the drawback of Notion Calendar is that there is no sync between a meeting notes database and the Google Calendar event. So we can't, for example, create Notion meeting inside of Notion and for that to be an actual Google Calendar event. It's not quite a two-way integration in that sense. What Notion Calendar does allow you to do, however, is you can come to any of these calendared events and in the docs and links section, you can actually link to a Notion page. So what a lot of people have been doing is they've been linking their meeting notes to their calendared events so that all participants in the meeting have access to that doc um, and have visibility of it. Now that can work quite nicely for one-off events, but here's a scenario where that doesn't quite work. Let's say you have that recurring team meeting every Friday and you want everyone to be able to have the newest meeting note attached. Well, essentially what you would have to do is on each new installment of that Friday, you'd have to come and find that meeting note and attach it. So it's quite a lot of manual work. So here's my work around. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create that meeting. Let's say it's at 2 p.m. and two to three. Let's say it's at 2 p.m. and this is our team meeting. And we've got Google Meet attached here and then I would assign all of my participants as well. And then what I can do in this recurring meeting, so let's set this to recurred, and then let's set this team meeting to happen every uh, week on a Friday. And then what I can do is go over down to this docs and links page. And instead of linking the individual meeting notes, I'm gonna link that overall meeting notes dashboard. So let's come and type Notion meeting notes and hopefully Notion will find it. And there we have that Notion meeting notes video. And so we can set that up. And then once I've made this meeting, 
now you'll see we have the team meeting at 2 p.m. and then we have a link for the rest of the team to basically jump into this Notion meeting notes page and then using that recurring database template, they'll have the team meeting there waiting for them to use or to prep for. And so if I go back over to Notion Calendar, you see we have it for this Friday. If we jump over to next Friday, we have it there. We've got the Notion meeting notes page and it's gonna jump us into this. So this is a bit of a workaround. It's not quite perfect at the moment, but hopefully this will encourage your team to see the meeting in their calendar and then actually click into the meeting notes page and, and start using the page. So again, if you'd like to download the Notion Meeting Notes uh, dashboard, the link down below is in the description. And if you're looking for an all-in-one solution for your agency inside of Notion, you can check out this video here. And if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing and giving this video a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.